Hey everybody, my name is Mel Strong and I'm one of the educators at the Bradbury Science Museum. Today I'm going to share one of my work from home projects. So in the museum, we have been putting together a new exhibit for the Nuclear Explosion Monitoring Group. As part of that exhibit, I'm designing something called the Seismic Seat. The idea of the Seismic Seat is that the public will be able to sit on a stool that will shake and replicate different kinds of earthquakes. So this is my setup for testing the Seismic Seat Interactive. And in the museum, the visitor will sit down and there'll be a screen in front of them and there'll be a series of buttons where they can pick what type of seismic event they'd like to feel. The one that's playing right now is an earthquake from Japan and you see three seismograms here. Each one of these is a record of the shaking in a different direction. Vertical, front and back, left and right. So these three patterns of data are sending signals to these three amplifiers which are then running the transducers that are inside the seismic seat. So as you watch the marker go by, the seismic seat is going to shake accordingly as if you were there feeling the earthquake at the time. One challenge that I have working from home is that I must share this room with a bunch of cats. Cats. They get on your desk, they knock over your things, they walk on your keyboard, they sleep on your laptop. How do you get anything done with cats? It's not always easy, but if you're working with cats, I have a few suggestions. Number one, put out some cat beds. On my workbench, I always have one and sometimes two cat beds. Cygnus, Orion, Cabrita, Rumi, Zarina, and Baxter will all naturally gather themselves on cat beds. In fact, boxes are cheaply available cat collectors. Just set boxes on your desk and the cats will start accumulating in the boxes, letting you do your work. Two. Set out decoys. Here on my desk I have a keyboard that's not hooked up to anything. It's a decoy. If cats want to walk all over it or sleep on it, not a problem. Notice I have two laptops. The one on the right is an old one that I set out as a decoy. They sleep on the laptop on the right. I work on the laptop on the left. 3. Just give up and make your cat the colleague. My cat Rumi and I have a long-standing work arrangement. He wants hours of attention while I need to work. So I give him some space in front of my keyboard, and he oozes out to fill all available space. I work, he lays there, sometimes all day. Eventually he falls asleep, then he starts to snore, then I turn my music up to drown it out. Thanks for watching. Whenever the museum reopens, come on by to check out the seismic seat and the rest of the nuclear explosion monitoring exhibit at the Bradbury Science Museum. Bye-bye.